Hello Divination and welcome. We have a brand new mini series for you and this time it's about how to use Divi's new animation effects. We'll be exploring creative ways on how to create awesome looking page sections. These animation features are fun and easy to use as you shall see in this mini series. Now when you use the visual builder you can actually see all these animations come to life right before your eyes. So join me as we explore the power of Divi animation features. Okay, so we are halfway through our mini series. So before we get started, let's go through the design elements that we're going to need. So pretty much all we're going to need here is four images with dimensions of 207 by 188 pixels. All right, so let's carry on from where we started and add a brand new section. So I'm going to come over here to the bottom of the page, click this plus button to add our brand new section. I'm going to click on regular and I'm going to click a sing for single row. Right, and that row I'm going to add a text module. So I'm just going to add it here. Now for now, I'm not going to add anything in here. So I'm just going to save this and then go to our section background because we need to ba add a background uh, color. Okay, so I'm going to click this gear icon, click on background. And then I'm going to click this plus button here to add our color. Now, if you'd like to follow along step by step using all the settings and all the colors that we're using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post which has all this information in the show notes below. Right, so I'm going to paste my color in here and then go ahead and save. Now, we're back here. Let's start customizing our text module. So I'm going to click this gear icon. Okay, so for the content tab, I'm just going to paste my text and we're just going to name this uh, set up and then we're going to come over here to our design tab click on text now the first thing we're going to do here is make sure that this is centered we're going to make this bold and all caps our font size is going to be 15 pixels and then we're going to add our text color here i'm going to again i'm going to paste my color like that let's come over here to our spacing and add 20 to the padding on the bottom now it's time to adjust our animation so i'm going to click on the animation so we're going to come over here and select slide Slide up. For our animation duration, we're going to set this to 850. So that's all we need for now. So let's go ahead and save. Okay, so what we need to do next is to add our heading, but this needs to be in its own text module. So I'm going to come over here and click this plus button here to add our text module. I'm going to search for it and select my module. So here, making sure that I'm in the text tab, I'm going to paste my heading like that. Now it's time to go to the design tab. So I'm going to click on design, header text. So here I'm going to make sure that it's set to bold and it's going to be set to the center. For our header font size, let's, set, let's make this slightly bigger and set this to 39. And then we're also going to set our color. I'm going to paste it in here. Now, as I mentioned before, these colors can all be found on our blog post, which I'll link to in the show notes below. Okay, so now let's come over here to our line height and set this to... 1.4. Now it's time to set up our width. So I'm going to come over here to sizing and I'm going to set this width to 600. Now the reason why we're doing this is because we don't want this to be stretching across the website. So by restrict restricting it to 600 pixels gives us a better design. And then finally here for our module alignment, let's set this to centered. And then as we did before, let's come over here to our spacing and add our margin bottom to and set our margin bottom to 20 pixels. Okay, next, let's come over here to our animation, click on slide, and again, this is gonna be set to slide up, and as before, this is gonna be 850 for the animation duration, and then for our intensity, we're gonna set this to 12%. And the one more thing we're gonna do here on this animation settings, we are going to come here to the animation speed curve and set it to ease out. Now it's time to save. Right, so let's move on to the next item. So here we're going to be adding a new row with four columns. So let's add this plus button here to add our new row. Click the four columns. And in each column, we're going to add a blurb. I'm going to select it. So in the content tab, I'm going to paste this HTML code. So this is just the lorem ipsum text. For our title, we're just going to call this step one, like that. And then we're going to come over here to the link and we're going to add a blank link. Now, the reason why we're doing that is because here we can see that um, we have this read more. But if, in order for that to work, we, it needs to have a link. So I've added the blank link here. But in your case, you need to add a link that works because this is just for demo purposes. 
Right, so next we're going to come over here to image and icon, add our image. And the image I'm going to add is this one here. Upload an image. And then I'm going to come over here to the background and make sure that my background is set to white. So let's come over here to our design tab. So first off, we're going to come over here to the text and make sure that this is aligned center. And then I'm going to come over here to my header text, make sure that it's aligned center as well. And we're going to make this bold and uppercase. Okay, so for, for the color, I'm going to paste my hexadecimal value in here like that. And then we're going to come over here to the letter spacing and add three, three pixels. Now, the reason why we're adding this letter spacing is it just makes it look nice aesthetically. And then we're going to come over here for the line height and we're also going to add three. Now, again, we're adding three because we need enough breathing space between the, um, the header and the rest of the content. Next, we're going to come over here to our body text color and we're going to paste our color in here like that. And then we're going to come over here to our body line height and set this to 1.9 just to give it a bit of space between the lines. Next, we're going to come over here to our spacing and we're going to add some padding. Now, you can see here that everything in this area here is close to the edges. So if we add our padding, it's going to make this look much better. OK, so I'm going to add 40 pixels all around like that. OK, so that looks much better. Next, we're going to come over here to our animation slide. And then we're going to make this slide up. And for our animation duration, we're going to set this to 700. And then we're going to set the intensity to 4%. And then finally, right here at the bottom where it says image icon animation, we're going to set this to no animation because our animation here is going to be controlled by the main settings that we've added here. Next, we're going to add a border radius and some shadows. But for us, for us to achieve this, we need to add some CSS. So I'm going to come over here to the third tab, click on custom CSS. And in the main element, I'm going to paste my CSS code in here. And you can see instantly that this has been applied to, to our blurb. OK, so let's go ahead and save. So now that we have everything all set up uh, in this blurb, to save us time, we can clone this blurb and make minor adjustments to the rest of them. So all I have to do here is to press Command C if you're on a Mac. If you're on a PC, it's Control C. And this command is to copy. Now, if I come over here, all I have to do is to press Command V or Control V on a PC to paste. So let's do this two more times like that. Fantastic. Now it's time to come over here and make some minor adjustments. So I'm going to come, in, I'm going to come into the settings. So the first thing we're going to do is to come over here to image and icon and change our image. So I'm going to click the second one, upload an image, and then we're going to change this to step two. So I'm just going to highlight the number one and change that to two. And then I might as well do the rest here. Okay. And then in your case, if your link is, is going to a specific place, you need to come over here to the link and make sure that you update the link. Otherwise, all these will be linked to the same place. Next, I'm going to come over here to design. And then I'm going to come over here to header and text and change my, my header text color. Paste my new color. And then I'm going to go ahead and scroll all the way down to the bottom until we see this animation. So we're going to set the delay to 50 and the intensity to 12%. So for now, we're going to save. Next, we're going to come over here, go into the settings of our blurb. And then, as I mentioned before, just come over here, update your links if you have your links going to a specific place. Okay, so next, I'm going to come over here to my design tab, click on my header text, update my color. And again, if you'd like to follow along step by step and use the same colors that we're using, I will include a link to the post in the show notes below. Okay, so now that we have our header color, let's come over here to our animation. So we're going to come over here to our animation delay, set it to 100. And we're going to set the intensity to 20. So we can see here that our image has not been updated. So let's come over here to our content, click on image and icon, upload. And we're going to select the third one. Upload an image. And now it's updated. OK, let's go ahead and save. And then we're going to go to the final blurb and go into the settings. OK, so this time we're going to start off with the uh, image and icon. Click Upload. 
and we're going to select our image upload an image next we're going to come over here to our design tab click our header text to change our color so i'm going to paste my color in here next we're going to come over here to our animation tab we're going to set our animation delay to 150 and the intensity to 30 percent okay so let's go ahead and save now it's time to adjust our row settings. So we're going to come over here to this gear icon to access our row settings. Click on design, sizing. Now we're going to use a custom width for this. So I'm going to select yes. And then we're going to set this to 1366. And then we're going to come over here to our custom gutter width. Now the reason why we are adjusting our gutter width here is to reduce the spaces between these blurbs. So let's set it to two. Okay, so that's looking much better. Okay, so now it's time to animate the whole row. So we're gonna come over here to animation, select zoom. For the duration, we're gonna set this to 700. And then here on the animation starting opacity, we're gonna crank this up to about 100. Okay, so that's all. Let's go ahead now and save and preview our design. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this page, exit our visual builder, and then scroll down and see if this animation is working. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new videos similar to what you've seen today. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.